going on everyone? It's Brain Witch Code Fine Jewelry, your personal jeweler. I'm adding the plain version of the Francos to the website. So when you're watching this video now, Jacoji.com has 14 karat gold plain Francos and I do love them. I do get a lot of questions about them. So I want to do side by side and take a little time to explain them to you. In my opinion, as well as a lot of clients' opinion, the great thing about with me and the business side that I run, I talk to and deal with everyone directly. So I hear the feedback from people buying, spending their hard earned money and wearing it and saying, you know, some concerns with this one, some concerns with that one. That is the same with all the chains and jewelry. So I collect the knowledge and kind of just feedback what I've learned about that chain from the people that are paying for it. I don't have an agenda to push. I'm not trying to push this one because I make more or nothing like that. It's based off the facts of the buying consumer and that's what I love and I feel like it's the most direct way to give you guys what you want to hear because it saves you time, it exchanges and not being happy with your purchase. So with that being said, I need you to picture, close your eyes for a minute now, I don't know why I'm closing my eyes. I don't need to do this, but picture yourself going down the highway on a nice summer evening. Are you going to be in the Lamborghini, the Porsche, the Ferrari going fast, going down the highway, or are you just cruising simple? You want to be, you know, in a nice car, plush leather seats, the AC blasting in the Bentley, the Cadillac. Those are the two. Now, I would compare the Diamond Cut Franco to a sports car that's fast and loud that requires a little bit more maintenance to the plain version of a nice Bentley, Cadillac, whatever you want to do, Jaguar, it doesn't matter. You guys get the point and I'm going to explain that in just a second. So with that being said, let's get started. So let's take a look at the plain Francos first. I don't want to get them mixed up and you guys confused. Pretty much I have the same size as I do the diamond cuts, the one millimeter all the way up to the big five millimeter and Francos. And why I was comparing Lamborghinis and Bentleys is because that's what Francos are. They're very expensive, imported, Italian-made chains. You pay the price, so when you're thinking about should I go with a two millimeter or two and a half millimeter, just look to the left there. It goes one, um, 1.2, one and a half, two, and then the two and a half. There is a big difference between the two and the price gram way is to pay with that. That's the thing with Franco's. Very heavy, very expensive because they are imported, but as well as you guys can see, just look at that very nice so let's talk more in depth between diamond cut versus the plane so here's a side by side of the five millimeter plane franco versus the four millimeter diamond cut i wanted to get the biggest gauge on the five millimeter so you guys could see the detail and what the plane is really like the main difference obviously is the diamond cut on the four millimeter diamond cut and that is it's to mimic a facets of a diamond to make it sparkle and shine that is the big thing and it comes with the expense of it having that different um more of a rounded look to it some people have complained in the past that it catches on to clothing or they don't like the facets around like when it touches the neck or you know the skin i don't really notice just rubbing it it's not a big deal to me i can't really feel it i'd be completely honest with you guys if I did, the plane is definitely a lot more smooth though, just because it's a bigger surface, I think. And you don't run into those issues. So you generally just get a very well-made classy link. Like I was comparing to a Bentley, a nice car, a Cadillac. There's just not a lot to it, but just pure quality. The diamond cut with those facets, um, is more like the sports car. It's just loud. I'll show it under natural lighting as well as I'll show it next to the plane Franco. So right now across the screen, you see the plain version of the four millimeter next to this diamond cut. As you can see, there's not a lot of size difference. It really boils down to, do you want the plain version or something a little more flashy with the diamond cut? So there we have it. There's not a huge difference between the two other than the fact that the diamond cut is diamond cut. I think Either one is a great buy. I know it's definitely worth it to watch these videos and reach out to me if you have any further questions because it is a big buy. The Francos are heavy, they're expensive. So you gotta do your research and feel comfortable with which one you want. It's tough for me, honestly, to recommend either or. I love them both. If I put a plain one on, I'll really prefer the plain one over the diamond cut until I put the diamond cut on. Um, honestly, I mostly wear diamond cut versions, but 
I do know why people like plain because it's just a little easier to wear. And I'm big on that for everyday chains because that's what I do with the flat curves. I prefer the flat curves over a Miami Cuban link because just a little more flush and easier to wear day to day. So that's a big thing and very important as well. So you can't go wrong with either. Just be confident with which one you're going with and also shop to Koji because there's nowhere in the world that has better Frankos. The quality, the way there's Frankos out there. People send me pictures or they'll direct me to different websites. I don't care what discount code they're having at the moment. It's not going to be the quality and manufacturing of these Franco chains. They are the best, best supplier in Italy. And you pay a little bit more, but you pay for what you get. Thank you guys for watching. Hopefully this answered a few people's questions. That's it for today's video. And we will see you on our next jewelry video.